welcome back to my channel today i had a little bit of a notion just to randomly start vlogging and not just any vlog i'm going to do a reading vlog i started a new book last night and i kind of just want to bring you guys along on a little bit of a journey of me reading it i'm the biggest fan of booktube and watching reading vlogs i just find them really motivational as well as just being very chill and relaxed so i hope this gives off the same vibes please stick around even if you're not into reading because it'll be just a very chill fun time i am reading never let me go by i had an issue before pronouncing this name ishiguro 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 <laughs> you guys recommended this to me over on instagram for this to be my next read so of course i listened i'm actually on chapter four now i only really properly started it last night it struggled a little bit at the start to be honest but i'm kind of getting interested i'm a little bit like what is happening in this world right now so all i really know about it is that it's dystopian and that everybody talks about this book. I know it's also, I think, for Leaving Cert in Ireland. I think you guys are doing it this year, so if you are, hopefully this helps you with studying or whatever. I currently, coincidentally, match the book as well, which is very fun and exciting. But yes, my room is a bit of a mess behind me, so I'm gonna tidy that up a bit. I think I need to head out and go for a walk. It is the evening time at this point, but I do need to get some fresh air, I think. But yeah, thought I would just bring you guys along. This could be fun. I hope you stick around. But yeah, let's get to reading. It is the 16th of February and I'm about to sit down and get some reading done. I'd like to get about two chapters done now because I have a little bit of stuff to do before I can read some more today. But yeah, it is currently evening time. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I have the kitchen to myself, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage. And read down here, just change up locations. Sometimes I get a little bored if I keep reading in my bed, so it's good to switch things up. Let's get started. <laughs> It is the next day. Honestly, can barely remember what I filmed yesterday. I think this vlog might be a little all over the place. I don't know, I'm nervous about it. But yeah, I am currently in not the best of form. I'm just kind of like, ugh. You know, just one of those, ugh. Like everyone leave me alone kind of days. Like I'm being a little bit of an angsty teen, even though I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm just in one of those moods. So I have sent myself to my bed and I'm going to do a bit of reading. I didn't get to read as much yesterday as I wanted to. I did a lot of like content stuff yesterday. So yes, I'm now in my bed. My room is, it's messy. I'm gonna flip it, hold on. Yeah, I filmed a favorites video there a little while ago and I'm going to ignore the mess for a little while longer. Going to get two chapters done of this now. I'm determined to get two more chapters done because I want to get into it a bit more. Struggling a little bit because I feel like it jumps so quick into this world without any explanation at the start that I'm kind of like, whoa, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I know obviously we're going to get explanations, but it's just hard to, I, I found myself having to like reread um, paragraphs because I'm like, I'm, I feel like I don't understand. So yeah. I'm just gonna sit and thoroughly enjoy it and just read and get some of that done while I'm cozy in bed because I just want I just want to sleep looking forward to reading now thank you guys for joining me again yes I am still wearing the same jumper as yesterday I've pretty much worn it three days in a row with different tops underneath but I mean hey also 
I got a new light here because I have to move the lamp that was there into my office. I didn't have a permanent light there. With regards to reading, I way prefer like lower light. Dimmer light, yeah, like low light. I don't really like when it's like bright in here when I'm reading. I just like it to be cozy and dim, especially before bed. So this thing is so cool. I'll show you it properly later when it's actually nighttime and you get to see it in its full glory. But I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go read. <laughs> my love i literally look like an egg i need to fix my hair i'm currently trying to figure out how to use claw clips because i got some and it's not it's not working but i'll figure it out but yes last night i did a bit more reading not too much because honestly i am really struggling with this book the writing is nothing like i've read before it's extremely conversational it's like it's the main character talking to us basically and she's talking to us like we know what's going on so there's been very very little explanation of you know what this story is or what this world is or anything as such you're reading it and listening to the story with literally about 30% knowledge if that so it's really difficult to keep up with it's kind of a bit jumpy one moment she'll be talking about one story and then she'll get sidetracked and she'll be like oh and this happened and then she'll be like but back to this story and I'm like oh my god at one point I was reading it and I literally just put it down and I was like somebody needs to explain to me in the next 10 pages what's going on or I'm gonna flip out so yes it's definitely pushing me and as frustrating as it kind of is at times I'm not mad about it because it's a whole new reading experience for me it's really interesting to me it's new and like I said before I I'm not new to reading I can read but I'm new to reading out of like joy and my own time and not because of schoolwork so it's interesting to me reading this the last book I read hold on it's right here where the crawdogs sing and this book is so descriptive you can literally I can tell you exactly what this environment is like I have the exact picture of everything in my head because it's so so descriptive whereas this book has told us nothing I'm finding it really hard to picture everything so it's a real stark contrast to what I have just read and um, but they're two totally different books but yes I am going to obviously keep going with it and I put up on Instagram this morning on my story that I was struggling to see if anybody else felt the same about it and lots of you said you did but that it was it was worth it and it's kind of one of those books that at the end everything makes sense it's probably one of those books that you'd have to reread then knowing what you know you'd see so much more which I love that in a film I love those kinds of films so I'm sure I'm gonna love it in a book so I'm gonna keep going with it very excited to continue on I'm currently on about to start chapter six it genuinely feels like I read 100 pages last night because I'm really slow at reading this because it's so strange to me how this is written I'm kind of finding myself like having to reread paragraphs and um, just to kind of wrap my head around it so it is a slow reading experience there's no doubt about it but somebody said from chapter eight on it starts to get a little bit more like you know what's happening so i'm gonna keep going aside from that good morning it is what day are we on it is thursday it is the 18th i think of february who knows at this point my plan for today is kind of to just clear and clean up a bit because everything's gathering up and i'm coming up to one of those times where like I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and anxious this book is also attributing to me being like what is life at the moment so I'm going to do some cleaning up as you can see it 
literally needs to happen. We'll see where the day takes us, but I will check back in with you guys when I get a chance to sit down and read, which will probably be later. I think I'll enjoy reading this book in a clean space and having less anxious things to worry about outside of reading, which will probably really help. But yeah, hope you're all doing well and enjoying this reading vlog. I will talk to you guys in a bit when I don't look like this. <laughs> much later on it is probably i think it's half six yeah it's half six now i have my room all tidied and fresh and it genuinely feels so good i'm so happy about it it just is exactly what i needed today i've got a few more bits to do but tomorrow that's tomorrow's problem this evening i just feel good i have the space cleared and I'm gonna chill and enjoy my evening and I'll obviously also get into reading and reading a bit more. This is a sign to clean your room if you've been dreading it. I was dreading it and it really didn't take me as long as I expected and it feels so good. So yeah, feeling good and positive, which we love. Monday. I don't know what the last day was that I filmed with you guys. Basically over the weekend I focused on editing a video and I also had my video done that I didn't have to do anything for it on Sunday. So I got to relax and I just didn't film and I didn't get up to much. And I didn't actually get up to much reading. Um, so I'm not much further on but I am currently at part two which is like the second half of the book. I'm not sure if there is a part three. I don't know how it's broken up but things have started to pick up which I'm really really enjoying. We know more now which is nice. I, I obviously won't spoil anything. So yeah there's more interesting things happening. I'm definitely a little bit more curious than I was before so that's good. But right now my focus for today is to get my college assignment done and then I can read and get this done this week and get this video up for you guys. A part of me really wanted to like not continue filming this and stop because I was struggling with reading and I didn't want to like come across like I didn't know what I was doing and I think that's one thing about reading is especially for those who if you don't read much but you do enjoy it when you do it and if you read like 10 books a year or five or whatever it is I think sometimes I feel this like I don't read enough so I can't call myself a reader and you know why am I filming a reading vlog and all that kind of stuff. A part of me just wanted to stop because I didn't want it to look like I was failing at reading but I am going to continue because I know so many of you guys don't read like 50 books a year and that's fine and I think sometimes I think everybody around me reads like a hundred books a year and sometimes it takes me like three weeks to finish a book and that is literally so normal and yeah I just kind of have to be okay with that sometimes I just get a bit self-conscious and stuff but if you're in the same boat I want this vlog to be something for you to watch where it's okay that if you are busy at a weekend and you don't get around to reading that doesn't mean it's all over and doomed and you'll never be able to read again it just means you had a busy week weekend and that means you can set some time aside now to focus on finishing it which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So without further ado I'm going to go on my walk, come back, hopefully get my paperwork and all finished and then we will chat later and get a good bit more read. <clears throat> Chatting in a coffee shop Sitting by the windowsill Barking down 8th Avenue with you Our fingers touching the light You pull back blushing delight Call me when you get back home Hello, it is the next day. It is currently morning time. I'm having my coffee. It is really kind of windy and just cold out today. 
so i've just gotten back into bed and i actually have some free time so i'm going to get stuck into some more reading i was up late last night with an assignment um, and i got that submitted scrolled on my phone for a while and then got around to reading but i'm definitely much more invested in this book than i was at the start i have questions that i want answered and i'm just i want to get through it so i'm dedicating my morning this morning to getting more reading done with a coffee but first i'm watching noelle's reading vlog because i love reading vlogs to give me so much motivation just realized i'm filming my own reading vlog at the moment which is so funny but yes i'm watching hers because i just like to drink my coffee while doing that because it's so hard to read a book and drink a coffee at the same time hopefully i'm going to be a good bit through today so we can get chatting a little bit more I've also been updating my Goodreads quite a bit today and yesterday which has been nice because when I update it it uploads like a status so you guys can see that I'm on like page 104 so that's really fun because I just like updating it that it makes me feel like I'm holding myself accountable which is good so I recommend if you're trying to read maybe look into Goodreads I like it very much <laughs> literally like one in the morning i am currently on chapter 19 i think i i have about 80 pages left of this i wanted to get it funny fully finished tonight but i ended up watching tv with mom and getting distracted i'm not mad about it i had a good time but i will have this finished in the morning instead of staying up i'm going to get some sleep and read this before college and properly enjoy it. I feel like I'm getting a bit too tired to enjoy the ending right now, so I want to be fully focused for it. But I'm really loving it. I'm very invested in the characters and finding out how everything goes for them. So yeah, Dea is also with me and I have my moon lamp on, hence why I'm literally blue, but yeah, loving it so far. I'm gonna get to sleep it is the next day it is currently the afternoon i honestly don't even know what time it is i have been doing college work and shopping with my mom and helping her out so i've been dying to sit down and read all day i just read two chapters and i have one chapter left this is how little of the book i have left i wanted to film me reading my last chapter because i've loved this book after the first 100 pages or so but i'll chat to you guys in a few minutes about that when i finish this has been such a lovely thing to film and I just can't wait to be able to watch this back. One chapter left and I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm cozy in bed and here we go. did it i finished the book i'm literally so proud of myself this is my third book of the year done oh my god and i think this is probably the quickest i've read a book this year probably thanks to the fact that i was doing a reading vlog so i wanted to get it done but wow there's so much to unpack and i think um i'll probably do a bit of a, of a recap or something on my stories in a week's time just when my brain really settles down this was a really incredible book now in the first 100 pages i was literally reading this and i was like this is going to be one of those books that every Everybody loves and I absolutely hate. I so struggled with the writing of it. You just kind of get dropped into this world and the author or the narrator, which the narrator is the main character, Kathy, 
automatically assumes you know what's going on and that you're a part of this world so it's really really interesting but yeah very difficult to read however when things start to become clearer and you start to get used to the writing it becomes really enjoyable I loved the dynamic with the main characters I just thought it was really raw and kind of just human I ended up really loving this a bit overwhelmed a little bit emotional to be honest a beautiful beautiful book in the end so yes if you're reading this and you're struggling and you're like why does everybody think this is so good i do recommend sticking with it and i do think it's one of those books that everybody should probably read because i feel like this is one that i'm never going to forget like i'll always just think about it because i think it's really thought-provoking i would love to have studied this in secondary school in in school or college or whatever because i know so many girls have messaged me saying that they are doing it for their leaving cert <laughs> they are doing it for their leaving cert so i would have loved to been able to study this i actually bought some new highlighters today because i want to start highlighting quotes and little bits that i like while i'm reading but i think this is a book i'm going to come back to whether it's in a year's time a few years time and really sit down and read um through it because i think there's a lot of powerful lessons in this but yeah all done very proud of myself thank you guys so much for joining me on this third book of the year done i will leave up a mini review on goodreads as well i haven't left a review properly on there before so i'm gonna do that but yeah all done now what do i do with myself go watch the movie some people have said the movie's really good thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading vlog whether you're a reader or not if you've read this book message me on instagram and we can chat all about it but thank you guys and i will see you next week bye